Her F1 fever is in town and teens as young as 13 are pitting their racing skills against one another with miniature cars that they have built. With students from 26 countries, the annual F1 in Schools World Finals has its largest turnout in history. Competitors are eyeing not just the top prize, but also future on the racetrack. Aslam Shah tells us more. In three, two, one. Just like that, it's win or bust for a team. These races last barely two seconds and they are won or lost by just milliseconds. And before that, students go through months of hard work just to prepare to be here in the World Finals in Singapore. The youngsters work on many areas that actual F1 racing teams need to excel in. Managing stakeholders, keeping everyone in the loop, and also delegating tasks to all of my fantastic team members that have made this thing possible. And uh, it's been a really beneficial experience. Selling and also presenting as well, because to be someone who is at the pit right here, you have to be a really good speaker to make sure that your idea and your um, team identity is very spread around. Like, spread about. Apart from performance on the track, teams are judged on the engineering of their car, pit displays and marketing. Alumni in past competitions have secured paths to careers in motorsports. They include Amy Martin, who was a finalist back in 2015 and 2016. She's now on a graduate program with Mercedes. You can see the amount of different um, sections of skills that the teams have to go through. So they have to do so many verbal presentations, they have to do um, explaining their ideas to industry professionals and it really does push you out of your comfort zone at such a young age. So I think I wouldn't be who I am today without the competition. Others even go on to hold key positions with F1 teams. Part of the goal is also to propel these young minds into careers in STEM industries. With growing interest, the program is hoping to expand further. We're probably going to be setting up Asia Cups, America's Cups, you know, European Cups to decide who from there could go to the World Finals. What we're doing here is just allowing them to have a really fun, exciting experience, but learning throughout that experience. You know, the, the maths and the science, which could have been boring in the classroom, because you're applying it to a product, makes it quite interesting. The winning team will receive this coveted trophy and a chance for a full university scholarship in the UK. Some will also get another reward, get up close and personal with their favourite F1 drivers during the Singapore Grand Prix.